So you never claim that you are Imam Mahdi? Yeah, I never ever make any claim and I don't think so. I am I'm just a simple person and weak person. So I never ever even think like this. In World War III, there is a lot of Arab countries will drag in. So All far, of them? Yeah. This is what I have seen in my dreams. The whole Arab land uh, become a battlefield of uh, World War III. Uh, even I see that Turkey will also drag in that war. How Dajjal looks like? Dajjal, I have seen him in many of my dreams. Uh, he is uh, like uh, six feet and one or two inches. Uh, very strong body. Uh, his skin is little dark, curly hair and uh, uh, he is very arrogant and he have many magical powers also. Assalamualaikum Muhammad Qasim. Waalaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How long have you been in Indonesia? Al I think almost 20 days I, I have been in Indonesia. Okay, 20 days, yeah. Yeah. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Fajr from RGL5 YouTube channel. So, there are many pros and cons, yeah? After several people said that you are Imam Mahdi, how did you respond it? First of all, uh, I want to in, uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Muhammad Qasim. I am from Pakistan. Uh, I am Sunni Muslim and I, my, my Akida is there is no God but only Allah and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Hatmul Nabiyyin is the last and the final messenger of Allah and I am a sim simple Ummati of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam I am seeing these dreams uh, since 17, uh, since uh, age of 17 years and uh, uh, I never shared these dreams with anyone uh, but in 2014, Allah and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi ordered me to share my uh, these dreams with uh, others. Uh, and uh, uh, my dreams is about uh, uh, end of times. And uh, I have seen World War Three also, Ghazwatul Hind. I have seen uh, Yajuj Majuj coming out, uh, Isa Al Islam uh, coming uh, uh, descending from uh, the sky and uh, the jal also uh, uh, come out and that there is a main message of my dreams is uh, to avoid shirk and its form uh, why muslims are weakened today and uh, how muslims can get united and uh, uh, rise again uh, and how muslim ummah uh, get uh, uh, their low status back uh, when we avoid shirk and its form, then Allah will help us. And uh, when Allah will help us, then we Muslims uh, started to rise again. Islam will rise again. And, uh, and this is my uh, main message of my dreams. Yeah, because of your dreams is viral, several people said that you are Imam Mahdi. How you respond it? Actually, when I started to share my dreams in 2015, after it, some people started to call me that uh, um, you uh, might be that person you in future. So uh, in 2016 and 17, I make a video also that I am not claiming anything. I will not, sh uh, in future, I will not uh, claim anything like uh, Imam Mahdi or so. And uh, I am not uh, asking any reward from others. I'm just uh, sharing my dreams because uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, ordered me to share my dreams with others. So after it, some groups, uh, groups also formed uh, in Indonesia, in Pakistan, some people continuously uh, calling me uh, as I am. So I, I completely uh, refuse this uh, and I disassociate with these uh, groups also, these people also. And I repeatedly uh, tell uh, this uh, in every of my interview in Pakistan, uh, in here, in YouTube uh, videos also. Uh, I continuously uh, saying that I am not uh, claiming anything. 
I always request to people don't call me anything my name is Muhammad Qasim I am a simple ummati of prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and inshallah you will see I will never ever make any claim inshallah so you never claim that you are Imam Mahdi yeah I never ever make any claim and I don't think so I am I am just a simple person and weak person so I never yeah. ever even think like this I see. You said that you usually dreams and meet Allah Subhanahu wa taala and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In what form do you see them? Um actually uh, Allah came in my dream in three situations. The most uh, situation is Allah is his own throne. There is a throne of Allah and Allah is on his on throne uh, like uh, in the quran allah also mentioned that he's uh, he have his throne and he is on his throne so in the dream he came on his throne and uh, my position is like uh, we uh, uh, same like uh, as we pray salah same like in the dream uh, i stand in uh, front of uh, the throne of allah uh, by bowing down my head and i can't even think uh, that uh, in the dream to look uh, uh, up in the uh, to the throne of allah like uh, uh, my situation in the dream is like this uh, same as we uh, stand in the salah so i uh, can't even uh, look at up to see so i only have feel that there is a throne of allah and allah is on his throne and uh, the voice of allah is coming from the throne and my whole body even my uh, uh, hands my ears my eyes uh, witness to me that he is the uh, he is allah rabbul alamin the lord of the all world and uh, he is speaking to me so when allah speak allah speak continuously same pitch he never uh, his voice is never break I, i i can feel his voice in the center of my brain in other word uh, in some of dreams also uh, i feel that allah is near to my jugular vein so uh, this is how i experience in my dreams and uh, the second situation is allah speak from the sky and i hear uh, the voice of allah and even my ears my eyes everything witness to me this is the voice of allah rabbul alamin and the third one is uh, i see a light very bright and sharp light and the voice of allah is uh, coming from that uh, uh, light okay and uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his height is about uh, 5 feet 11 inches he is uh, smart very handsome and he have a white turban in uh, on his uh, head and uh, uh, he wear a white very pure white cloth and uh, if there is a night time and there is a d- uh, darkness uh, th- then he, uh, his uh, the nur of uh, uh, is coming from his body and i can see clearly uh, things around uh, him and the nur is like uh, a very bright nur i never uh, uh, see his face very from close uh, and in one of my dream allah told me that uh, when you kasim when you meet with prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in that dream there is 80 hijab uh, between you and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that's why uh, you are unable to see his his face clearly like you have seen uh, the face of suleiman alaihi wasallam there is one dream uh, 2015 i have seen uh, i uh, look at in in his eyes and when i look at his eyes uh, my eyes get freeze there and uh, i feel that uh, allah have fill his own noor in his white uh, area the white ball and uh, the lens was very crystal clear even uh, I can see deep inside in his uh, eyes and I can see the petal uh, pattern in his eyes and uh, uh, I never ever see beautiful eyes uh, like uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in real life uh, so uh, this is uh, how I uh, see Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam I see how can you believe that they are real 
not fake the dreams the dreams because uh, i have uh, on my own research on the dreams also in 1993 uh, when i was a, a 17 year old uh, these dreams uh, started to regularly i have seen these dreams regularly and uh, that time i think uh, why i am seeing these dreams i am a sinful person uh, then i say maybe uh, uh, others also have seen dreams like this uh, and uh, as i am not sharing with others others is also not sharing dreams their dreams so i let it go then in 1998 i come to know that even uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam seeing a prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a dream is a rare chance in a whole life then i start to pay attention then uh, why i am seeing these dreams even allah is uh, uh, also come to my dream then in 2007 i say to myself i should uh, uh, match the dreams word with the quran word then i started to uh, hear uh, quran translation uh, uh, in my own language uh, then i also match the dream words uh, with the uh, quran and it's it was 100% matching like allah told in the dreams that kasim do not despise the mercy of allah only kufar uh, despise the mercy of allah kasim uh, allah will not waste the reward who do uh, who are uh, patience and uh, allah is rahman and allah uh, in, uh, avoid shirk and its form uh, allah uh, don't go against his promises he will full he fulfill his promises Uh, then i say uh, no this is the uh, allah who is coming to my dreams because that the uh, wording is uh, uh, matching perfectly and then i say to myself how is it possible that shaitan come to someone dream and uh, say like this uh, word shirk and its form uh, and uh, do not despise the mercy of allah and uh, uh, glorify allah uh, day and night so this is how i uh, check my dreams myself so i am 100% believe he is allah rabbul alamin who is uh, coming to my dream by his mercy and uh, his prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam hatimun nabiyyin who is coming to my dream many people in social media don't believe yeah with your dreams this question is not means to hurt you you think is there any possibilities satanic figure in your dreams or like hallucination or depression situation yeah um, i never have a situation like this depression or something and i never force anyone to believe on my dreams and uh, the message of my dreams is very clear that uh, uh, um, we are living in the end of time near the end of time and uh, if we muslim want to get our low status back then we must uh, need help of allah and allah is not helping us and uh, why allah is not helping us because uh, shirk and its form is everywhere i can explain later and when we avoid shirk and its form uh, then uh, allah will start to help and then muslim will rise again and uh, i am also not forcing to people to believe on my dreams i am just uh, doing my job uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked me to share my dreams with others so i am only doing this my job it's up to people uh, they believe or not um, and i do not uh, asking i am not asking any reward from them i see in an interview yeah that you tell you had experience about trauma is that right no i never have any experience like this oh you have no experience about trauma no traumatic in your life mm, no uh, not about traumatic but uh, of course there is a um, hardship you can say hmm. um, hard moment in your life yeah okay yes is it because you have hard moment 
so you had experience about these dreams uh no uh, actually uh, whatever is uh, hardship or so uh, first i have seen uh, started to see the dreams then that uh, hard time is coming and hard time is actually uh, the trial uh, from allah allah uh, in 2014 january 2014 allah told me kasim i have tested you for 20 years i want to see whether or not you are the person who despite the mercy of allah or not so uh, after it allah and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam order me to share my dreams with others and uh, i have seen uh, first my dream in the age of 4 uh, and 5 years so uh, in the age of 4 and 5 uh, no one have a traumatic uh, problem or so mm-hmm. and uh, in uh, when i was 13 year old i see uh, first time allah and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came in my dream so uh, that time there is was uh, childhood uh, so i was mm. playing and so uh, first i see to uh, dreams uh, these dreams uh, then this situation was uh, happened and i can explain it's not a uh, traumatic or something it's just like uh, uh, in uh, 1993 uh, when i was 17 year old uh, a girl uh, come to my dreams girl girl yes started to come in my dreams and after few months i uh, see i have seen this dream in my real life and that day i uh, make whole hope to allah that uh, if uh, allah uh, see this girl uh, show me this girl in my real life then one day allah will make a uh, marry uh, with her so i uh, make hope to allah and i never Uh, break my hope and uh, whenever i started to uh, hopeless or disheartened then allah or muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam come to my dreams and uh, uh, they told me that do not despise the mercy of allah uh, allah do not waste the reward who do patience or who are patient and uh, uh, only uh, non muslims and uh, despite the mercy of allah so this way i get refresh and i uh, keep uh, uh, hoping to allah and uh, i hope to allah that one day uh, he will make me uh, marry with her so uh, it long journey uh, after you can say 20 years allah told in my dream in 2014 january Uh, that uh, kasim i have tested you by this girl i want to see whether or not you are the person who despite the mercy of allah or not so this is the only uh, hard time uh, or you can say uh, trial f- uh, from allah uh, there was no traumatic um, problem or something I see. I think every human ya itu akan mendapatkan masa-masa yang sulit ya. What will I say in English ya? Like that lah. Have you ever had dream about Judgment Day? Um, about Judgment Day, I have seen uh, the dreams that uh, uh, we are very near to Judgment Day, the uh, the day of Kiama, Akhir Zaman. Now you say that. We are near to kiamat. Yes. Means uh, we are in the uh, end of time. This era is uh, uh, near to end, uh, end of time. How long? Mm, Allah knows best, but uh, if uh, you uh, there is a one hadith that uh, uh, the Muslim ummah will uh, never uh, uh, can go up uh, 1500 years. and we are already on uh, 14 and uh, 46 uh, hijra years so if you can uh, see uh, there is uh, maybe 54 years some say like this some say 60 years so if it's uh, 60 years or even if it's 100 years that it's not so far 
we if we if we can compare to past time this world is already always uh, already have a billion of years uh, this world is uh, have uh, uh, born so uh, uh, compared to 100 years compared to billion years is very less uh, if we are we can say we are uh, living near the end of time I can add some more uh, if we see that uh, there is a war going on in uh, Palestine, Israel and uh, many ulama also start to about uh, end of time and its signs. So uh, some ulama also say these, what is, whatever is happening in uh, uh, Palestine is the beginning of the uh, big wars. And in my dreams I also see that uh, uh, when the situation uh, is uh, uh, bad in Palestine, uh, then there is there will be a small war. Then they become a big war, and then uh, the, the big war will uh, convert into World War Three. So, uh, in uh, few of my dreams, I see that they uh, Israel go for third temple to build third temple. And the third temple is also a sign of uh, Kiyama, you can say, Akhru Zaman. And uh, when uh, Israel will uh, go for build third temple, then there will be a more wars. More war means the more uh, countries will drag in the war. So far, if you see, uh, we can say, see uh, Palestine and Iran is also dragging in the war. Uh, Lebanon also dragging, maybe in future, more country will drag in. And when more country will drag in, then it will lead to uh, World War Three, uh, and World War Three is the uh, also a sign of uh, Akhru Zaman. In World War Three, they called is the arm. Uh, what they call? They also call it to Malhamatul Kubra. Uh, this war, the World War Three. You said that Israel will build a temple and. This is the start of World War III. They will build uh, in the land of the Palestine, the third temple. Uh, sorry, which country that war in World War III? Um, in World War III, there is a lot of Arab countries will drag in. So All far, of them? Yeah. This is what I have seen in my dreams. The whole Arab land uh, become a battlefield of uh, World War III. So slowly, slowly, they all will drag in. Uh, even I see that Turkey will also drag in that war. So this uh, war will become um, uh, bigger and then it will convert to World War III. And the land of the World War III is uh, the Arab countries. This is what I have seen in my dreams, but uh, Allah knows best. Can you tell more to us yeah, about your dream in World War Three? Yeah? Which country versus which country? What I have seen in my dreams, uh, I can tell only this. Uh, in 2017, I have seen that uh, uh, Israel Prime, Prime Minister uh, tell to U.S. President that uh, only soon, only the name of Palestine will remain and uh, we will dominate uh, on all Arab countries. So after it, uh, they build a third temple of the, or you can say the Jal, the temple of the Jal. Uh, they will build a third temple in the land of uh, Palestine area. I am not sure where they will uh, build, maybe they will build uh, on that place of the Masjid Aqsa. So that's why there is a huge anger in the Muslim world. Uh, but they only can protest, they can't do more than this. And uh, when they uh, build it, then there is, uh, I see that uh, there is a blast in their building and uh, the sandstorm uh, started to come. And it's the symbolically, basically. The sandstorm is basically a war, uh, the war which will start from that uh, uh, area and then they will spread. Uh, how they will spread? They will, uh, more uh, countries will drag in. 
Syria will drag in Iraq, Saudi Arab, and all of these uh, Arab countries, Egypt, they will slowly drag in, even Turkey will also drag in. And uh, this uh, uh, sandstorm uh, uh, damage uh, the Arab area very much. Even I see there's a building uh, destroying and uh, a lot of uh, Muslims will die in this war in Arab countries. And after uh, it, uh, uh, when it spread, uh, the, on, on the other side, uh, Allah will uh, spread these dreams in the East countries. And uh, uh, in the East countries, the, they will come to know, uh, okay, uh, this bad uh, uh, time is uh, happening in the future. So uh, they will start to avoid shirk and its form and uh, Allah will start to help us and uh, the Pakistan will start to rise again. Uh, Pakistan will start to rise and uh, Muslim will get to united in East countries. And uh, then after it, World War III, uh, uh, they will uh, uh, go on the war uh, with uh, Pakistan. When this war will come to uh, Pakistan, then it will become a uh, uh, Ghazwatul Hind. Ghazwatul Hind is the war uh, which is mentioned in the Hadith. It will happen near the end of time, near the Akhru Zaman. And uh, when they will go for war, go war with the Pakistan, they will attack through India and uh, there will be a, a lot of allies of India. In Maybe there will be a hundred flags gathered in India against Pakistan. So this war will be a Ghazwatul Hind and Allah will help Pakistan and Muslim Ummah, uh, Muslim in the East with the 3000 blackjack fighters. These are very strong and uh, advanced technology. Uh, even I, in my dream, I have seen that even uh, American military engineer go to shock uh, how Muslims uh, uh, got uh, these type of blackjack fighters so fast. So in, uh, when the war will start, uh, it's feel that uh, Pakistan will defeat it, Muslim will defeat it. But uh, by the help of Allah, uh, Pakistan uh, uh, destroy the India, whole India. And Pakistan will capture the whole uh, India. And then uh, Muslim in the East, uh, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Bangladesh will join together and then uh, they, the East Muslim will go to Middle East where there is already World War III is happening. Then they f will fight uh, there with uh, Russia and America and they will defeat two superpowers uh, by the help of Allah and uh, Muslim will become uh, alone the superpower. Then they will uh, regain their lost territories uh, they will uh, get back uh, Palestine, uh, Turkey, whole Middle East, and then they will uh, spread true Islam of Prophet Muhammad and uh, to the whole world. And the whole world will uh, fill with the peace. And this peace will be remains uh, around seven, eight years. And after it, uh, the Dajjal will come. And when the Dajjal will come, there will be another um, stories and happening so this is how i see uh, in my dreams how dajjal looks like uh dajjal i have seen him in many of my dreams uh, he is uh, like uh, six feet and one or two inches uh, very strong body uh, his skin is little dark, curly hair, and uh, uh, he's very arrogant, and he have many magical powers also. And uh, the magical powers uh, he will uh, claim as a false god. And uh, the powers which he will have uh, is enough to prove on his false god uh, that he is the false god. And uh, in few days. Uh, even I have seen in my dream, billions of people will join him in a few days. This is how he will spread uh, fitna in dunya. So Dajjal looks like human. 
Ya. Yeah. His eyes is two. Yes, his eyes is two. In my dream I see him um he I see his uh, he have both eyes. But I am not sure if he can't see from one eyes or something. But uh, it looks like uh, okay. But Allah knows best. What Dajjal has done in your dream? I will try to explain uh, what I have seen in my dreams, what Dajjal is doing. Uh, uh, Dajjal, I have seen that uh, Dajjal is a normal person. He gets some powers and he started to upgrade his powers. And Shaitan, Iblis, helping him uh, to upgrade his powers. And uh, his, he, have, he will have a four level, power levels. Uh, four power levels? Yeah. When he will reach level power four, then it means uh, he will uh, become uh, Dajjal. No one can stop to him. Even I have seen in my dreams, in the peace era, in the peace time, we will make a huge weapons against to fight uh, against the jal and when the jal comes uh, we use these uh, big missiles uh, against him but it's become a fireworks against him this is how he have um, a lot of powers and uh, the magical powers and uh, he become um, very uh, you can say uh, uncontrollable no one can stop him and uh, uh, he have magical powers, he give uh, uh, younger, he make uh, old people younger, even in, uh, the dead people, he uh, make them by his magic alive. So people uh, join him very fast. He will give a luxury life, uh, he will make a woman more beautiful uh, and men, uh, they, he will give a young age. So this is uh, how he will attract uh, the humans. And uh, when uh, humans will see these type of signs, they will join him very fast. And they make, uh, and he will make a fitna. Okay. You said that Dajjal have four power or four level, yeah? It means that Dajjal can change his appearance. Yes, uh, Dajjal can change his appearance also. Mm. In my dream, I also have seen he changed his appearance, uh, uh, so uh, others can't find him uh, properly. This is how I see him in my dreams. Mm. How about Palestina in your dream? Palestine, I have seen uh, dreams in 2017, as I have uh, shared uh, with you. Uh, in the dream, uh, Israel uh, was making a plan to destroy Palestine. So, uh, Israel Prime Minister and uh, US President is going to meet uh, in the building. So I say I should have, uh, have to go in the building to see what they are planning. So I went into the building and uh, I uh, come close to the US President and uh, uh, Israel Prime Minister, what they are talking about. Israel Prime Minister was uh, telling to US President that uh, he almost uh, um, built the temple of the Jal and uh, sooner uh, Israel name will only remain and uh, they will only uh, they will uh, conquer the uh, whole Arab land also. Then I go to shock uh, that uh, how they are planning like this. Uh, I sh then I went out from the building and when I go out, then some I see some uh, Israel already destroying the buildings and the homes of Palestinian. And uh, the Palestinian people and women, children coming to tours to this building where they are planning. I say, why you are going there, this building? They already making plan to kill you. Why they are uh, you are going there? Uh, they, uh, the women say, maybe they killed us, uh, but they uh, leave uh, our children al alive. They say, I, then I say, no, they are very uh, cruel people. Uh, they will not even let your children alive. So after it, I uh, try to find where uh, they make a um, temple of the Jal. 
and when I go there, uh, there is uh, already, uh, when I go there, there was a blast in the temple and it's uh, basically symbolically and that blast is going uh, um, spread everywhere and uh, it uh, that sandstorm cover all the arab land and i see buildings and uh, uh, people killed very badly the building were destroying uh, and in even uh, world war 3 i have seen uh, they killed muslims very badly and they destroyed their buildings homes everything and uh, uh, after this war spread they will go for Pakistan and East countries Muslims and when they go for East country Muslims there is there will be a Ghazwatul Hind and uh, I have seen uh, we Muslims uh, keep uh, the rule of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during the war means we did not kill women, old people, children and after Ghazwatul Hind uh, there is like uh, 40 um, there are like uh, you can say 400 million people, uh, women and children in India will remain alive and they will uh, after it they will convert to Islam uh, and this is what I have seen uh, dreams about uh, Palestine in one of my dream I have seen uh, there is a war going on in Palestine and Israel between Palestine and Israel and I say to myself if this war spread out it will uh, uh, cover a whole Arab countries, a whole Arab countries will drag in this war. So uh, we should have make something to uh, plan something to stop this war. Uh, this is one of my dream. You often say about shirk. What kind of shirk do you mean? Shirk and its form, uh, Allah and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teaches me in the dreams uh, in detail about Shirk and its form. And uh, in one of my dream, Allah told that Qasim, this world was never filled with Shirk as much as it is today. So uh, the Shirk, uh, the big Shirk is uh, uh, if someone, some per person uh, make a sajood other than Allah and the other shirk is uh, uh, we have a statues uh, in our around the cities in our home in our restaurant hotels uh, we have uh, statues to make our uh, hotel and city or home more beautiful these statues are the same statues which was uh, in the kaaba and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam destroyed them on fatah makkah uh, there was a 360 uh, statues, false god. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam destroyed, uh, destroyed them by his own hand. And uh, these today's uh, statues are the same thing, uh, only the material and the shape is different. Otherwise, they were statues also and these are statues also. And uh, if we see, uh, Saudi Arab also make a, um, a fast goat statue, Lat and Uza, in the name of art and culture and their history. And uh, Lat and Uza uh, is the fast goat uh, which was uh, destroyed by uh, Khalid bin Walid Razi Talanho in Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam times. So we Muslims uh, following uh, the Kuffar. And by following the Kuffar, we uh, adopt their uh, culture and uh, their culture is, you know, uh, they make uh, statues everywhere in the, around the cities. Uh, they have a uh, decoration pieces with animal shapes and we Muslims uh, following them and uh, do the same thing. And, uh, and the, uh, the shirk and its form is another shape is uh, the pictures, unnecessary pictures you can see around the cities big uh, uh, advertising board and uh, in the home uh, some people use cele celebrities pictures and have their own uh, wall and uh, some have uh, families pictures so these are all shirk and its forms and uh, uh, we have to take it very seriously because the shirk is the biggest zul 
In the Quran, uh, in Surah Luqman, Allah mentioned, Inna shirk ala zulman azim. Shirk is the biggest zulm. And if we see the end of time hadith, uh, there is mention that near the end of time, uh, near the Akru Zaman, uh, the world uh, with uh, filled with zulm. Mm-hmm. And we think that this zulm is uh, what Israel is doing with Palestine. This is zulm. No, uh, actually the zulm means is uh, shirk and its form. The world will fill with the zulm means the world will fill with the shirk and its form. We can see in every city and every uh, almost uh, uh, places these statues, these pictures we can see everywhere. So this world is filled of uh, shirk and its form. And uh, now I want to share a hadith uh, here. Uh, there is a hadith, uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sitting in his room, uh, in his home. And uh, Jibra'il alayhi salam was uh, come and uh, he was not entering to his uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa home. Then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked, why you are not entering to my home? Then Jibra'il alayhi salam replied, there is a picture uh, in your home, there is a carton in your home and there is a images, pictures on it. Either you have to cut his head or runes in your foot, then I will come. And we Malaika, we angels, don't come, uh, go, don't go there where there is a picture. So it's uh, clearly uh, uh, mentioned in the Hadith and uh, it uh, clearly shows that uh, Allah forbid his angels don't go where there is a picture. So what happened? Uh, what was happened if Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam refused to remove these uh, images? Uh, Jibrail Alaihi Wasallam will not enter to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam home. So uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say whatever Jibrail Alaihi Wasallam saying it's actually a order of Allah. Uh, he is uh, commanded by the Allah. So he re- immediately removed this picture from his home and then Jibrail al uh, come to his home. Imagine he is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu the last and the most beloved Prophet of Allah. If Jibrail al Islam is not entering to his home because of the pictures, then we are ordinary Muslims. Uh, if we have a pictures in our home, then how uh, uh, the angel of the mercy of Allah will enter to our home? So by uh, these type of shirk and its form, our connection is disconnected with Allah. Uh, Allah is, uh, knows everything, of course. He is the Lord of the all world. But He has made some rules. He has made some system. And Allah uh, never go against His rules. So he make uh, angels uh, to connection between uh, him and uh, his servant uh, through the, the angels. So when angels uh, can't come to our home due to pictures and uh, statues, then it means our connection is broken with Allah. Our connection is disconnected. The same like uh, we have uh, lights in this room. Uh, what if we cut the cables? And uh, what if the wire is broken, then this, uh, this light uh, turn off. We can't do any work. We can't do this post- podcast. So uh, we, whatever we change the lights, we uh, uh, replace them, imported light, whatever we do, they will not turn on until we fix the cable. When we fix the cable, then the cable, uh, the, then the lights will turn on. So same like, uh, uh, same as uh, our connection is disconnected with Allah <clears throat> due to these images and statues. And uh, Allah uh, mentioned in the Quran uh, on Laylatul Qadr, Allah come to uh, the earth with Malaika, with angels. And Allah asks angels, go and see what my servant is doing. And uh, when uh, the angels of the mercy of Allah try to come to our home, uh, they will see, oh, there is a picture in our home. There is a statue in our home. 
and Allah forbid them uh, to enter this place, then they can't uh, enter to our home. They can't even come to know what we are doing on Laylatul Qadr, what we are doing in normal days. We are praying, we are making dua, what we, what we are doing, they can't come to know. And they re will return to Allah and they will say, Oh Lord, we are trying to enter their home. They have a statue, they have a picture in their home. And you have forbid us uh, not to enter in the home where there is a picture or statues. So maybe they can't even enter to our cities. So our connection is disconnected. So Allah will say to uh, angels, okay, uh, leave them in their condition. If they don't want to change their condition, leave them alone. So this is how we Muslims going down in uh, day by day. We are more than 1.5 billion in the population. But we can't even make uh, Israel agree on ceasefire. We are, we have uh, money, we have an uh, army, but what is the reason we can't help uh, other Muslims? We can't help Palestine, we can't help for Kashmir, we can't help any Muslim in the world. Why? Because Allah is not helping us, because our plan is not successful, because our connection is disconnected with Allah. So we must have to restore connection uh, with Allah. How we can restore connection? By, remo by removing pictures and statues from our home, from our cities, from our restaurant. Then our connection will restore with Allah. Then Allah will say, okay, uh, and to angels, go and see what my servants is doing, what Muslims is doing. Then they will come to our home and then they can see our situation. Why well, we are going hardship, we are going through hardship and uh, we are making dua for Allah, come and help us, we are in trouble. Then angel will go to Allah and they will say, uh, oh, oh, oh Lord, uh, uh, your servant, your Muslims is in a uh, bad uh, situation, they are going through hardship. Uh, and they are praying, they are crying, they are making dua for Allah, they are asking help from Allah, from you. So then Allah will say, okay, now I will go and help them. When we will remove shirk and its form, then Allah will help us. Then we Muslim will unite again. Then uh, Islam will rise again. Then we, we Muslim will get uh, their low status back. And then Israel will uh, take us, uh, then Kufar will take us seriously. Imagine um, uh, we can uh, see the uh, Hazrat Umar Razi Ta'ala Anho, the second Khalifa. He went uh, to Palestine alone, back to Baitul Maqdas alone, uh, with only uh, one of his servant. And uh, Jews that time uh, give him a keys without any asking questions. Why? Because Allah was helping him. Because Muslims were in the power. And Jews know if we uh, say no to him, then he will come with his uh, unbeatenable uh, army and they will kill us. So, uh, uh, there, uh, so Jews give him a keys and without any uh, qu asking any question because uh, that time Muslim uh, avoid shirk and its form and Allah was uh, happy with them and Allah was uh, helping them. But today we are uh, more than 1.5 billion but we can't do anything for our uh, uh, Muslim brothers and sisters. So this is uh, how uh, Muslim will rise again. Uh, when they remove shirk and its form, then Allah will start to help us. Then we Muslims start to rise again and inshallah, we will get our low status back and inshallah, we will get unite again, inshallah. Why you want to share your dream with others? I have seen these dreams uh, from age of 17. I never shared these dreams with anyone and uh, I don't have any uh, plan to share my dreams, but uh, in 2014, Allah and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, ordered me to share my dreams with others. That's how, uh, that's why I am sharing my dreams with others. And uh, uh, before it, I never shared my dreams. If Allah 
and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam don't order me. Uh, maybe till today, no one knows about my dreams that there is some person who is seeing this kind of dream. Uh, if you know about my dreams, that uh, uh, it's because Allah and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, ordered me to share my dreams, and um, there is no. My personal gain. I don't want. Aren't, uh, I don't ask uh, from anyone for reward, and uh, I'm just doing this for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Do you ever dream about Indonesia? Uh, yes, I have seen uh, many dreams about Indonesia also. Like what? Mm, like uh, um, I, I, I have seen in my dreams that. Um, I went to Indonesia, and uh, I in my old dream there is a old dream. Uh, I start to travel from my home, means country, Pakistan. Working? And, uh, no, um, you can say in the dream I start uh, running in the air, oh. not by walking. By maybe it's a symbolically that uh, maybe uh, I of course no one can run on mm. in the air, but uh, maybe from the plane. Mm. I go to east countries first, uh, and uh, then uh, in some of the, uh, and I go through uh, Middle East to in some of my dreams to uh, USA, in, and then after it, some of in my dreams I went to UK. Then people come to know about my dreams. So I'm not sure. I don't have any plan. To come to Indonesia, but suddenly Allah some make plans, and I went to Malaysia. Then I come to Indonesia just for visit, and uh, maybe this is the, uh, the dreams which I have seen about Indonesia, and uh, I also have seen that uh, uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Bangladesh, these will uh, these uh, country will play major role in uh, upcoming events also. Even uh, they will help Pakistan uh, in rising of Islam and rising of uh, Muslim Ummah again, and uh, uh, they will also help Pakistan in Ghazwatul Hind by their uh, army and others. So uh, this is how I see dreams about Indonesia, Malaysia, Bangladesh. Some netizens. People ask, "Have you ever been to doctor to tell about your dreams?" No, I never go anywhere with the, to see the, any doctor. Uh, but uh, in Indonesia, there is uh, Doctor Jaya. Uh, he also believe on the dreams, and I have met with him many time. And he also. Uh, went to Pakistan, and when he pa come to Pakistan, he talked to me and he see me very closely, and then uh, he uh, make a short interview also with someone, and uh, he also clarified that uh, I have no uh, mental health issue and uh, no brain problem. So um, uh, he say I'm normal. Mm. Yes, Doctor Jaya. Yeah. Doctor Jaya is a. Uh... Forensic doctor? No, no, no. Oh, different. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. He's different. He's doctor. Uh, he's, uh, I think, uh, in uh, working in a government of office. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever dream about me? Mm, no, but uh, mm. I have seen that uh, people in Indonesia uh, believe on the dreams, and some of them also. Um, Take uh, interview or something, mm. so maybe you are the one, and maybe you are the first from mm. Indonesia. Mm. Finally, yeah, from the bottom of your heart, do you believe that you are Imam Mahdi? No, no, never. Mm. I never ever think like this. Uh, I'm a, just a simple person, and I am a weak person also. And uh, I never imagined something like this when I started to share my dreams. I also go to shock when people start to calling me this. Then in the dream, Allah told me uh, to upload video that uh, you are not claiming anything, and uh, you will not claim anything in the future. 
So it's the order and command of Allah also. There is not even my imagination that uh, I feel something else. I, just, I'll, I always feel uh, I am a simple person, simple ummati of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi and I am a weak person and uh, I am just doing this, uh, this dream sharing work because of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and uh, uh, if uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam come to anyone in the dream and uh, order him to do something he I don't think so he will say no to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam I also say uh, that I whatever this dream is uh, work is uh, dangerous I will inshallah do it for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam yeah. Okay this is the end of interview thank you Muhammad Qasim for sharing your experience with us